my day <laughs> off for you. Yeah. Yeah. I never missed a day of work and never missed a night of drinking for eight straight years. Rather than be able to have compassion for myself, I'd rather eat like two bowls of popcorn or even when I was younger, drink in order to not feel. Well, there, even sitting here, I realize there's like this terrifying feeling of not having it all together, like not having it all together. And, um, yeah, and the vulnerability that goes along with that. that. Oh, really? Yeah. What would she say? <laughs> like, I was so embarrassed. I was so full of shame. And I didn't know what to do except to drink. And so I started drinking again, but I knew in my mind, I'm like, I need help. I need this house to stop. My single greatest challenge was taking that leap and not having any idea what was gonna happen and being terrified. You know your breaking point. That sense in us, you know, that will pop up when we've had enough of our own <laughs> bullshit, you know what I mean? It was an identity shift for me. And little did I know that that was gonna be the best thing that ever happened to me. You have to change habit. Now I'm not sitting and having a glass of wine. What am I doing with this time now? I have to do something different in order to be somebody different. I started writing all the time. I mean, I would reread things and go, did I write that? I mean, really, truly disconnected from my feelings and my thoughts. And now there's a connection there. It was almost like somebody stepped in took over my body, <laughs> seriously, and had a different perspective. I feel like there's so much power in the written word. And I love that she's been able to make something tangible that can help people. The day book is for people to not only track their progress in recovery, but also look within. There's a system built around it that really helps to connect the dots. The journal was almost like these handholds, basic practices. What are you grateful for? What are the obstacles you still need to overcome? Did you follow through? How did that make you feel? Now I get to have that self-awareness, that time to just pause and check myself before I do things. On the left side of the day book, it asks me about what my moods are. How am I actually feeling? And so for me, that means a, an inner attunement. And then the things on the right-hand side are reminding me like, oh, did I take a rest? Did I actually move my body or was it just a good idea? So I think it's that combination of having both sides to the equation for me. My rituals in the morning, are to stretch and breathe. It's just the subtle shifts that you can make on a daily, weekly, monthly basis that could make all the difference in the world. My number one habit is exercise. <laughs> I go for a walk just so I'm attuned to my body and having a meditation practice. Getting outside is really important to me. It makes me feel like I'm part of something bigger. And then writing is just what lights me up. Even on the days when I really don't want to look at my stuff, I do anyway. Everything else can be spinning, 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 but that does not have to be spinning, you know? Because I have done the practice, I do have access to my wisdom. I just feel like I had suitcases of shame and self-doubt, and that load is much, much lighter. It's almost like a curiosity about emotion happens because it becomes more objective when it's on the page. It's given me the strength to say, like, what's next? Like, bring it. The biggest goal for me is to continue to pay attention and to live my life consciously in recovery and really never forget what a gift it is. It was a lot of work. I think that's why the book's so cool. It's not like, oh, yeah, it's a 48-hour thing, 
and oh, poof, you know, I'm going to be recovered and never get upset. I mean, it's not going to happen. Like, it's an ongoing thing. The book encourages you to look at those small wins and take the minute to pause and acknowledge them. Because we don't do that often enough. It is shifting your mindset from avoiding pain to embracing joy. To keep things moving forward.